this is Arvin with GameTextures.com and today I just want to go a little bit over how to use our road tools for the GT Road Pack. So the way we do this is we're going to go ahead and create some splines on our landscape. So in the demo level we have a little landscape and we're going to make sure to be here in the landscape tab and here on the manage button. We'll go ahead and switch this. Sometimes it's on selection by default. We'll switch to edit splines. And now if we control click on our landscape, we'll be able to create a little spline tool. We can then select one of the nodes on those splines and hit segments and it'll select the entire line segment. We can then add a mesh that will generate all along this line segment. So if we hit the plus sign right here under spline meshes, we can pick a mesh that will generate all along this spline. So what we're going to use is let's just grab something from the GT Road Pack meshes folder and we'll just drag and drop it there. Now, um, in fact, we'll do this one, the asphalt. And what you'll notice is it's going the wrong way. It's going left to right rather than following the uh, forward direction of this spline. We're going to fix that by going here to our details panel and switching the forward axis from X to Y. And notice now it's following the path. The last thing we're going to change is right now the meshes of the landscape is interpenetrating the mesh of the road. And we don't want that. We want the road to lift up just a little bit. So what we're going to do is while we're here in the detail panel and we still have our spline mesh open, we're going to select the Y value or the Y offset of this road and we're going to set that to just 0.1, just a little hair above the landscape mesh. And what you'll see is it's still pretty much stuck to the mesh, but it's also bumped up enough to where you're not getting that um, interpenetration. So uh, that's pretty much it for using the road pack. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to stop by at GameTextures.com and send us a message, and we'll be more than happy to answer it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys next time.